saga of the enormous contributions of Dr. Rajendra Singh Paroda, a well-known plant breeder, a visionary agricultural science leader, great institution builder, policy reformist, an able administrator, an excellent network coordinator, advisor, and an exemplary mentor of young generation. A renowned agricultural scientist of international repute, Dr. Paroda is undeniably one of the greatest leaders of Indian agricultural scientific community since the past five decades. Dr. Paroda ably transformed the Indian National Agricultural Research, Education and Extension System NARIS while serving as Secretary there and as Director General of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research during a period of seven years. His vision led to the creation of more than 30 new institutions in different sectors of agriculture like crops, horticulture, livestock, natural resource management, fishery, agricultural engineering and social science. This strengthened the NARIS as one of the leading research and development organizations in the world. Besides building the most modern gene bank at the National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources at New Delhi, he created four bureaus on genetic resources of animals, fish, microorganisms and useful insects. As a result, India today has the best network of institutions to manage its valuable genetic resources. His foresight and determination led to the construction of a unique National Agricultural Science Centre NAS in Pusa campus which was built in a record time of five years and inaugurated on 3rd January 2001 by Honourable Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee. It is now a hub of several scientific activities. India's National Gene Bank at New Delhi is currently the second largest in the world, holding 4.7 lakh germplasm accessions of crops. Dr. Paroda could seek a grant from USAID to build the entire new complex of NBPGR while serving as director from the year 1985 to 87. The gene bank was inaugurated by the then Vice President of India, Dr. K. R. Narayanan. His deep passion for genetic resource management led him to make special efforts while heading the CGAIR program in establishing gene banks in all eight countries in Central Asia and Caucasus region, Tashkent. In recognition of his exceptional contributions in the field of genetic resource management, the ICRISET and the Agriculture Research Institute of Kazakhstan have named their gene banks after Dr. Paroda. In fact, he is nicknamed as Gene Bank Guru by his friends and admirers. At the regional level, Dr. Paroda worked for strengthening newly established Asia-Pacific Association of Agricultural Research Institutions, APARI, under the auspices of FAO Bangkok. He served for more than two decades as its executive secretary and made it the most vibrant regional forum to strengthen regional collaborations among NARS of 20 countries and 12 CGIS centers. While working at FAO Bangkok, he also facilitated the establishment of Asia-Pacific Seed Association, a dynamic regional seed association today. Dr. Paroda established the Central Asia and Caucasus Association of Agriculture Research Institutions at Tashkent in 2002. He also initiated several regional research networks involving NARIS and CG centers. He specifically initiated two important programs, APARIS for information sharing and EPCOAP for promoting agricultural biotechnology in the Asia-Pacific region. At the national level, Dr. Paroda established Indian Society of Forage Research at HAU Hisar and Indian Society of Plant Genetic Resources at NBBGR, New Delhi. He, as founder member and later as president, established and nurtured the National Academy of Agricultural Science and got its building constructed. Dr. Paroda also founded Global Forum on Agricultural Research in 1998 at FAO Rome, of which he was elected as founder chairman. Today, it is a leading global organization fostering research partnership in agriculture. Since his retirement in 2001, Dr. Paroda is working tirelessly 
for the overall welfare of farmers as chairman trust for advancement of agricultural sciences task his efforts have been on policy advocacy and public awareness today TAS is known as a vibrant think tank debating on issues of national importance. As a visionary, Dr. Paroda catalyzed the process of having a new agricultural policy which got approved by the parliament in the year 2000. While serving as chairman, Farmers Commission of Haryana and member Rajasthan Planning Board, he got approved agricultural policies for both Haryana and Rajasthan. For promoting the private seed sector, he got the new seed policy approved by the government in 1988. He took special interest in drafting two important national acts, Protection of Plant Varieties in Farmers' Rights Act 2001 and National Biodiversity Act 2002. As chairman of few high-level review committees, he has made important recommendations to the government for much needed reforms in the functioning of agricultural research services, Krishi Vigyan Kendra and agricultural scientist recruitment boards. ICR Vision 2020 was his brainchild and he ensured similar documents by all ICR institutes and state agricultural universities. Considering the importance of journalism, he instituted the Best Agricultural Journalist Award award for the best annual report of ICR institutes to improve the quality and contents for the benefits of the stakeholders. Also, he instituted the best women scientist award, best institution and best university award, best KVK award and best farmers award. In 2019, as chairman of a high level committee constituted by the principal scientific advisor, Dr. Paroda submitted a report on policy and action plan for secure and sustainable agriculture. Its implementation will help both farmers and the Indian agriculture. For much needed scientific reforms, he conceived and negotiated successfully one of the most prestigious National Agriculture Technology Project NATP of World Bank in 1998 with an outlay of 240 million US dollars. This enabled not only organizational and management reforms in the ICR, but also ensured the reorientation of agricultural research, education and extension systems. Dr. Paroda took several initiatives to reform agricultural education in India, including the Rural Agricultural Work Experience Ravi program for agricultural students, providing exposure to the natural settings of the village situations. Dr. Paroda's foresight policy advocacy ensured dialogues among policymakers, scientists, private sector, and the farmers, leading to the release of important policy papers and conference documents for accelerating agricultural growth in India. For sustaining food security for the growing population, Dr. Paroda, as ICAR's Deputy Director General, Crop Sciences spearheaded a special food grain production program enabling India to produce 6 million tons per year additional food grain. By initiating a special hybrid research program in 1988, hybrids of rice, quality maize protein and single cross maize, pigeon pea and safflower were released in India. The area under hybrid rice is now 3 million hectares. The release of single cross hybrids in 2000 could double maize production from 10 to 20 million tons in just one decade. His initiatives on new seed policy and decision to make available the seeds of inbred lines of public bred hybrids to private sector resulted in the emergence of a robust private seed sector which today competes fairly well with multinational seed companies. Dr. Paroda ensured government approval for release of BT cotton due to its immense benefits. As a result, India has emerged as a top producer globally. The pesticide use has also reduced by 40% and India is leading exporter fetching more than 4 billion US dollars annually. As chairman pesticide registration committee, he facilitated a policy decision to release biopesticides for the first time in 1992, which accelerated 
research and development of biopesticides which is so essential for integrated pest management under his leadership besides number of national conferences many important international conferences were organized namely the second international crop science congress in 1996 inaugurated by former president dr shankar dayal sharma the indian science congress in 2001 inaugurated by former prime minister shri atal bihari vajpayee first global conference for women in agriculture in 2012 inaugurated by former president shrimati pratibha patel and first international agro biodiversity congress in 2016 inaugurated by prime minister shri narendra modi his lifetime work in the service of national agriculture especially for the popularization of science and to link it to the society is exemplary and has been duly recognized in the form of several prestigious national and international awards including padma bhushan conferred on him in 1998 he is a fellow of many prestigious science academies in india and abroad and served in several high level national and international committees he was elected as general president of the indian science congress in 2000 2001 state agriculture universities including ohio state university columbus has honored him with dsc honoris causa Dr Paroda has worked tirelessly over 5 decades to promote and popularize agricultural science to accelerate India's overall agricultural growth through publications and access to authentic scientific literature. He has to his credit many research papers, books, scientific proceedings, strategy papers and policy briefs. These are widely disseminated to diverse stakeholders and posted on apari and task websites dr paroda has been very active in popularization of science through a series of new articles interviews and media reports he also immensely contributed towards public awareness and popularization of science through several convocation addresses presidential addresses foundation day lectures and keynote lectures on diverse scientific topics the outcome of different regional and global conferences organized by dr paroda has been instrumental in bringing out very important declarations that became road map for developing new policy and programs in agriculture the agricultural community salutes dr r s paroda who has untiringly and fearlessly cruised ahead with focus on agricultural growth and development indian agriculture is fortunate to have a globally recognized visionary like him we wish this octogarian and living legend many more years of healthy life and happiness so that he continues to remain a torch bearer to all of us long live dr raj paroda jai hind